Hi everyone, my name's Scott. And I'm Sarah. And we're from Colour Space. In this episode of Take Five with Art, we're going to look at how to appreciate artworks with controversial subject matters. So today we're looking at Without a Paddle, which is a large painting by Michael Hawkins. It's an acrylic and oil on canvas. Um, what we can see here is that it's a, a large painting full of a whole assortment of things. Nothing's drawn to scale, so we've got huge torches and tiny people, but there's people, street signs, sporting equipment, all sorts of things heading down a giant sinkhole out in the ocean somewhere. It can be a bit of a challenging piece to look at because there's a lot going on. There's a, there's, if, if I may, there's actually a little bit of a where's Wally kind of a style thing going on where the more you look at it, there's more elements that you see you, that become slightly more disturbing the more you look. Uh, you see like a disembodied torso. There's quite a few snakes, dead snakes at that. There's a uh, there's a Jesus just sort of floating there as he's floating down. So the more you look, the, the sort of slightly darker it gets. How, how do we approach something like this, Sarah? I think if we get back to your three-step process that you spoke about before, mm. clearly the artist has intended for us to feel uncomfortable when looking at this piece. That's undeniable. There's lots of dark imagery going on here. We're not supposed to look at this and think, what a beautiful Sunday afternoon. That's not what we're supposed to think. But I would ask you to look at all of the other types of art that you do already engage with. So think about music, TV shows and movies, and then mentally just erase everything that's not really lovely and relaxing from that list. You'll be left with a pretty boring compilation of TV shows and movies. So if we can in other parts of our lives appreciate that there's times for darkness and things that are a bit moody. They make us think about the world in different ways. They make us ask questions about our own lives. The visual arts also should be appreciated in the same way. If there's something that can be offensive or a bit challenging, then to what extent do you need to remove that? Or do you still continue to be confronted by these things? Because that's what challenges you to either open your mind or to just you can still not like it, mm. but if it can, you know, show a new perspective, then that can still be worth it. Yeah, exactly. And I want to say that I do like this painting. I, I love this painting. I love that it's a little bit of a game that you look at it and you find more and more things, little quirky things stand out and you wonder, what does that mean? Why is there a watch the same size as a human? Um, how did that stop sign get there? Um, what is with the giant toothbrush, for example? <laughs> I love the playfulness of that. And that's actually quite light. So we're talking about this painting as though it's really dark, but it's not. There is something about engaging with this piece. And this is a piece that will be challenging for a lot of work environments. And I can understand and appreciate that. But is there still a place for that? Absolutely. I can absolutely say that in your foyer, in your reception area, I wouldn't be putting something like this, but in a breakout room, a place where you've just got staff members relaxing and talking, this is a great icebreaker. It's visually interesting, which is my favorite concept. Mm. Um, so there, there is places for work like this in, in commercial spaces. And not be afraid mm. that some people might go, I'm not sure I don't like it. Mm. Because as we always say, not everyone has to like That's every right. piece of artwork. And even here, because we've had this bit of debate about this piece, it's, it's interesting. And that engagement, imagine this kicks off a conversation between two people who previously wouldn't have talked. And as a result of that, they came up with a new idea. How would you feel if you came into your office and you saw this on the wall? Have you been in workplaces where there have been confronting imagery? And how has that made you feel? Would love to know your experiences in the comments below. Otherwise, Get back to work.